Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Lamar F8 Deckover. It's a 14,000 pound GVW. Shown here would be a 102 by 24. It's got about 19 foot of flat wood deck and then a five foot self-cleaning beaver tail with five foot flip over spring assisted ramps. Now as shown here on the far ramp, on most of our Lamar Deckovers, we're going to go ahead and do the stand up ramp bars, which is an available option. Uh, many manufacturers don't do this or offer this, but it's a fairly simple, cost-effective way that you can lengthen your trailer by about five foot without carrying around five more foot of trailer or paying for five more foot of trailer. It's a very handy setup. We do a lot of ours like this. So let's take a walk back to the front, take a look around it. We really like this series trailer because the 8-inch I-beam is a nice frame not too heavy not too light works for about 80 percent of our clientele so up front again you've got the uh, eight inch i-beam frame you got the lamar logo they also take the time to do the uh, pin striping we really like this new uh, demco style coupler it's a cast adjustable coupler it's what they're putting on their 14,000 and 21,000 pound trailers uh, most of your cast adjustables are only rated to about uh, 16,000 to cover uh, 14 K's and some 16 K units, but this one here is actually rated to 21 More so than the weight rating what we really like about this would be one you've got a built-in safety as do most couplers But then this coupler it's that simple uh, Nothing complicated nothing confusing some of the stamp couplers you got to push down and back and it confuses some people it's as simple as inserting your ball if I can get my knee to cooperate here even with one hand, I can latch that coupler. It's that simple. And actually, it's an auto latching coupler where as you lower your jack down onto the ball, it's automatically going to close. Very handy setup. When you're done latching your coupler, you'd simply put your pin in and go. Uh, Lamar does a, a very good job as well with reinforcing uh, the front tongue area. So you got an adjustable coupler, well reinforced. Standard equipment would be a 12K jack. We specifically ask them to put the jack up in the front. If you've ever had a jack where it's uh, deep in the A-frame, very difficult to get to, kind of a pain in the butt. We ask them to put it in the front with the adjustable coupler, the jack set far enough back, it's out of the way of your tailgate. Uh, 12K jacks, if you're not familiar, have grease zerts on them for serviceability. Also standard would be a A-frame uh, tool tray up front. Uh, the blue harness is not only a sealed harness, but a cold weather rated harness. It's about 20 degrees out here today. This harness is still very pliable, flexible. Uh, you can bend it in all kinds of crazy shapes. Something fairly new to the market you'll probably see from more manufacturers down the road. Uh, Lamar's been a first mover on this in uh, making those a standard feature. The trailer is powder coated. Uh, they do a nice... Uh, a blast before they powder. You've got your step up handle, you've got a front headache rack, you've got your side step. Lamar does the new bullet style LED lights shown there. Okay, it's a newer looking uh, light. Going down the side, they've got chain spools or uh, pipe spools, as some know them. You've got your stake pocket, and then, of course, your rub rail. Lamar builds this trailer a little bit beefier than some while not being too overbuilt. Uh, they do a channel side rail. I've seen many in the industry that are using an angle, a fab side rail, or some of them even use a flat stock. Uh, C-channel for years have been the industry standard. Lamar's still doing so. Uh, also, speaking of cross members and structural channel, Lamar underneath the trailer does a 16-inch on center uh, a cross member spacing for us now their standard is a 24 but we upgrade this on all of ours to a 16 that is also a structural channel cross member underneath again the industry in recent years has gone a lot to a fab channel cross member it's a little bit uh, lighter than a structural channel it's lighter by weight and then of course uh, by strength the axles we've got 7,000 pound Dexter axles brakes on both axles Shown here is the optional oil bath hubs. Uh, for those not familiar with oil bath, it does a better job at uh, lubricating the bearings. 
You won't find it uh, too often, but we do do it on some. Figured I'd show you this one, show you what it looks like. Uh, keeps your uh, bearings uh, cooler. This would be for more of your high mileage uh, users. Uh, also, Lamar does a, this is shown with a 5 8 inch stud because of the oil bath, but they do a 9 16 uh, stud even on all trailers. Industry standard is going to be more of a half an inch. So they go a little bit heavy duty here, again, with the radial tires. Also, slipper spring suspension shown here as a standard. Uh, slippers pretty common on a 14K trailer. What you don't always get is that grease dirt in the center. It's referred to as a wet bolt kit. Don't often see it. Normally, that's about a $30, $40, $50 option. They're putting it on standard on these. Okay, these also do have the new never adjust, or some refer to as forward adjusting brakes. Uh, it just means that uh, the brakes are going to self-adjust, much like a car, to where there's, uh, there's no need for adjustment down the road by the end user. So here we've got a on our stand-up ramps you would have a four foot beaver tail on the flip overs that would be a five foot beaver tail you're looking at on this model we do carry them both ways the flip over ramps you see here are five foot so again you got the corresponding dovetail again as i mentioned previous you've got your stand-up ramp bars again we like those because uh, if you got something that's longer than 20 foot you can get it loaded by flipping the ramp straight up okay lamar does a a catch back here one nice feature about that whenever the ramps deployed it's gonna catch under the bumper and uh, keep this unit from bucking and jerking like uh, some do whenever you're loading the trailer okay it is spring assisted at the rear okay another nice feature on Lamar it's got the self-cleaning beaver tail and then the back bumper here is all made out of tube steel that's not a it's tube the whole way down a lot of the industry we see using uh, fab channel or sometimes structural channel at the back. Tube steel is going to do a little bit better job of encasing all your wiring. Uh, again, it also gives you a nice strong spot that uh, your ramp's going to go against. So again, tube rear bumper. Another feature that I'll show you underneath, this trailer has a continuous I-beam frame with a gusset where the frame and beaver tail come together reason I point that out a lot of trailer manufacturers will build the frame out of uh, I-beam and then they'll come back to a piece of fab steel on the beaver tail they use the same frame the whole way throughout the trailer and then attach it with a gusset plate something that you don't always see so again at this price point a lot of a uh, lot of features that we like on this particular unit if you have any questions about uh, this trailer or any of our other ones give us a ring can be reached at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.